what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Iceman and Bob. I must make a disclaimer up front. You are doing this at your own risk. What am I referring to? I'm going to show you all how to access the service menu on your Samsung S95B. This will apply to 2017 and later Samsung TV models. For the most part, the code combinations might be slightly different, but this does apply. I will show you in the service menu how to activate Cal Day and Cal Night, which stands for Calibration Day and Calibration Night. Those are two picture modes that will be added to your picture mode selection. And then I will also show you all how to combat the ASBL static dimming issue that sometimes occurs when you're watching dark content or other types of content, perhaps even during gaming. Now, once again, you are doing this at your own risk. So please don't come back and say, hey, Iceman, you told me to do this and I messed something up on my TV or it's not working or I voided my warranty. There is a slight risk if you take the steps that I'm about to show you when it comes to combating the ASBL static dimming issue, you could potentially violate your warranty. Now, it's a small risk. I haven't really seen anyone have that issue, but I have to mention there is a risk. So let's go ahead and get into how to do this if you choose to move forward. The first step that you want to do to access the service menu is grab an older Samsung remote. If you don't have one handy, you can get one for around five or ten dollars, give or take, on Amazon or eBay. I will show you what the older Samsung remote looks like. I have one here. Okay, you just essentially want one with the buttons on there. I also have another one here, okay? Just to give you an idea, I actually have two of them. So when you find or you finally have your older Samsung remote arrive in the mail, or maybe you borrow one from a neighbor or a friend, you're going to push this button combination, okay? You have to do this when the TV's off, but you're gonna hit mute. Then you're gonna hit one. And I apologize if the camera's blurry, but you're gonna hit mute, one, eight, two, and then power. Now, you need to have the TV powered off first before you attempt to do this, okay? So we're going to power mine off. Okay, so now you see that the TV has booted up into the service menu. It's still actually booting up, so I'll just give it a few seconds. All right, there it goes. Now at this time, you can actually go ahead and just use your regular remote. You don't have to use the other remote if you don't want to, okay? So as I mentioned, there's two things that we're going to turn on. We're going to turn on Cal Day and Cal Night first. So we're going to come down here where it says SVC. And I must specify, be very careful to, let me close that out. Be very careful not to hit anything else that you have no business hitting. If you don't know what you're doing here, please be very careful. So. We went to SVC, okay, and we're going to come down here. Now that we're in the SVC menu, we're gonna come down here to other set, okay? So we're gonna go here to expert, and you see that it has N slash D adjust, okay? That's basically night slash day adjust. Now it's on because I have it on for me, but what you do is you'll just move the cursor left or right and it will show you accordingly, okay? So we're gonna leave that on or you're gonna place it on on your TV. 
and then you can just hit the back button on your remote and just give it a second because sometimes it takes a second for things to actually pop up and load. Okay. So now that we're here and we pull that up, we're gonna hit back again. Okay, we're gonna hit back one more time. This time we're gonna go into the control menu. So now that we're in the control menu, what you want to do is come down here to where it says QD option. And you're gonna hit the enter button. All right. And then we're going to come down here where it says screen saver brightness. Now I have mine turned off. The default is seven, okay? So when you come down here, yours will say seven if you haven't made any previous adjustments. So you're gonna, again, hit screen saver brightness and you're gonna adjust that down to zero. And then you can hit back and you see that it's in there. We'll hit back one more time, go back in the QD option just to make sure it took. Okay, and if you come back down here to screen saver brightness, you can see that it is zero. So. Now that that took, we're gonna back out and then we're gonna hit the power button. We're essentially gonna power cycle the TV. So we're gonna turn it off. And I like to give it just one extra second before I turn it back on. Here we go. And you're gonna see that secured by Knox OLED message once you change these settings. Now, reminder, these settings will completely change all of your settings and it will put it back to factory, so to speak, in terms of your picture preset settings, okay? So please keep that in mind. I hope you have your picture preset settings saved somewhere or listed somewhere because that's essentially what's going to happen, okay? Now, now that the TV booted back up, let's go into the menu here on the TV. And as you can see, it has it in Let me close that off. It has it in dynamic mode. And let me see if I can adjust the settings here a little bit so that you could see that a little bit better. Okay, let's try this again. So you see we have dynamic, standard, movie. There's your cow night. And there's your cow day. And then we also have filmmaker mode. Okay, so you do have these picture presets unlocked. I like to go in here and show you that. Let's go back into. Let's go into all settings. Once again, just so that you all can see in a different menu. So I want to also show you here that these are essentially the factory settings. Some things got reset. So you're going to have to go back in here and adjust a few things, okay? Some of these are set based upon the particular firmware that you're running. And as you can see here, I'm running 13.04. So these are the... OEM or out of the box firmware settings for 1304. But you essentially have that set and now you will also have the ASBL defeated, okay? Please keep in mind, you assume full risk by doing this. The cow day and cow night won't cause any issues, but when you turn the actual dimming off, you could potentially be denied a warranty claim. So please keep that in mind. The chances of that is very slim, but there is always that potential. So I had to let you all know that, but this 
should solve all of your ASBL static image dimming issues. And again, just go back and reapply your picture presets and you'll be good to go. So I really hope this helps. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And as I always say, until we stream again.